gonna let that sit for two hours. All right, so I'm trying to do a two-part mold for these, and I've never done a two-part mold. You know, we've been doing the frame molds, and I want to try a two-part mold. So here's what I've got so far. Um, just clay, just cheap clay from, there's a place here in Austin, if you're in the Austin area, uh, and you, you like doing molding, uh, it's called Armadillo Clay. Um, they are awesome. Like this huge giant block, it's like a huge block. Actually, like there's two more blocks right there. Um, they're like, I don't know. Man, it's like 20 bucks. I don't even think it's 20 bucks. I think it's like $13 for this huge giant block of clay. We've already used it several times to help with the um, frame molds. And then I am doing a two-part mold for the horns. So there they are, all ready to pour my top layer. And then once that cures, I will, f I will um, do the other side. So never done this before, so maybe I'm doing it wrong. I guess we'll find out. You can see I got my little got my little keys in there. So what I did to make a key. <laughs> so these are just these little glass beads. Just little glass beads, decorative beads. Um I super glued one to just some wooden sticks. And then I put some uh Vaseline on it and then I pressed it and made a little a little key so now I will put this in my little sculpting kit so now I got a way to do keys which is <laughs> pretty awesome actually so there it is I was about to pour this side I do not have enough silicone so I need to go ahead and buy another thing of silicone um, I have another future thing I'm going to do with one of these. I want to actually make the bottom of the skull look more like a real skull. Kind of. Where my skull go? Like this guy, you know, where it looks more like the base is a real skull. So I'm thinking about doing, molding this one. I don't know. I may want. I don't. I may want to make it different than that. So, oh, I thought I heard something. Wolfie, I kept hearing a noise. I'm like, holy smokes, Wolfie, you're actually in the garage with me. You made me feel so special, Wolfie. You leaving me now? You leaving the vlog? <laughs> and I just finished this little haunted house. It actually was a Christmas house. Um, I intended on doing a full YouTube video on that. I kind of did a half-ass one, so I'll I'll still upload it, I guess, and show you guys what I did. So, but we're getting ready. Actually, tomorrow we have an event, um, making these little Easter eggs for a Gothic. It's a Easter Ween event, so we're gonna have some prizes in here, like you know, ten percent off at our booth, and then uh, these will either be for sale or some prizes for the main Easter egg hunt. So. But stay tuned. I'll have to get me some more uh, sil um, silicone before I can mold this. So I guess I need to put some like wet paper towels on this and keep it keep it wet so it doesn't dry out on me. So, all right, you guys know what to do. Get your haunt on. And I'm actually catching up on a hunter's life right now. Actually, all right, did I show you guys this? I I got a big TV in my garage now, so when I'm out here working, I could actually watch videos. And then at some point. I might do some live streams and then I could see uh, comments and all that kind of stuff on this uh, versus trying to do it on my phone. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Got lots of little projects going on. Just made this, uh, just made this eyeball pretty good, pretty fun. All right, I'll shut up now. Get your hand on. All right, guys, I'm going a totally different direction here. 
Don't even know if this is going to work, but it's a learning process. So I'm actually going to use fiberglass mat, fiberglass resin. I'm going to do a fiberglass so the horns are underneath here. This will be where the silicone will actually go. I'm going to do my fiberglass resin coat on top of this. And then I will remove that. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do yet. Let me keep figuring this out. <laughs> go along with me here. All right, I hope I didn't bite off more than I can chew here, but you know, I've been watching Jack of the Dust. His stuff's amazing. So I have this like one short here playing on repeat where he's casting a skull, which I'm not doing a skull, which I will be doing a skull, but I figured this was less complicated, but honestly, it's the same complicated. Pretty crazy. All right. Well, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. So that's only phase one because once that side is done, then I got to do the other side. So I guess I'll figure it out as I go. All right. So <clears throat> I feel like I did this wrong, but let's see if it comes off. It's been a couple of hours. It says wait a couple of hours. Still feels on the underside a little tacky, but it's it's dry on the top. Let's see if we can get this bad boy off of here. Whoa. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, so this thing's not all the way 100% cured yet, um, but it's pretty awesome. So I, I just took cutting wheel and just cut all the way around the edge. And I just got through sanding it a bit. There's a little bit of clay in there, so I gotta let this dry all the way and then get that little bit of clay residue out of there. <clears throat> I use this little dude here <laughs> to cut it. If I didn't have that, man, I don't know if I could have cut through that fiberglass. So um, just put some petroleum jelly on there. I ended up putting this little uh, ring around here so I did actually make a mistake, but I think I can save it. When I put the shell back on here, <clears throat> this, what, this should seal it right here. And then I've got to cut a hole in the top of the uh, shell that I made there. And then fill this in with silicone. And I'm hoping it's not gonna leak. It looked as, it seemed, to seal really tight. I'm probably going to go ahead and go in, in there with, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping it's going to seal. I guess we'll find out. Won't we? Won't we? Okay, people, I think this is going to work. So, uh, molds all dry. 
I have my horns inside there. What I'm doing is I'm gonna pour the silicone in here to fill this up. I got holes at the high points, so hopefully it should fill all the way up to there. I'm going around right now and I'm sealing all the way around with clay. So no silicone leaks out. So just got this little section here to do and then I'll mix silicone and pour the first half. All right guys, so pretty surprised. It's actually not leaking out anywhere, which is phenomenal, but it's taking more volume than I measured, which is crazy. But anyway, just gonna keep going. Pretty cool. All right, I think I got it all in there. There was a couple, I had to drill a couple of vent holes here. There was one little pinhole here leaking. There's a few around the edge that started kind of leaking a little tiny bit. So I think I've got those sealed up. And I actually have a little silicone left. And so I have my little project here ready to take on the uh, extra silicone. All right, so I just cleaned out the mold, just got the horns back out, cleaned them off. Um, so here's the first side. It also comes out of the fiberglass shell. There's one half done. Now I gotta figure out how to do the other side. All right, so I got the other side of the silicone on. So I have the two part silicone mold. Um, I'm going to add the fiberglass jacket to the other side. I'm outside because it's super mega stinky. So here it is. And here's my fiberglass. And we're gonna get started soon. All right, I got the whole second half of the uh, fiberglass on. Let's just hope that it actually comes off of the other half. Because this will be the first time I've done that. So, all right, guys. Wish me luck. Everything else went pretty well. Kind of, sort of. Um, but uh, we'll let this cure and dry. And then we'll have to cut off the edges and sand it. And then the mold should be complete. Well, I'll have to drill some holes and um, to be able to clamp it together. And I'll put some bolts and some wing nuts in there. So, but other than that, it should be good to go. All right, guys. There it is. Two-part mold of my Krampus horns that I used to make the Krampus, uh, Krampus hats with and the uh, horned skulls. There it is. And this still needs to dry a little bit more and I gotta trim it up, but two parts fit together really solid and come apart really good and the mold also comes out of the shell. Look at that. So now I gotta do a casting, but that'll be for another date. It's bedtime. All right, guys. You know what to do. Get your haunt on. <laughs>